Good morning, friends. Are you ready for another art today? Great. We are going to do an art that some of you did with me last year. We had a really good time doing it. You came up with amazing ideas. They were so creative. So I thought, hey, let's do this again. It was fun. So it is the shape art. Do you remember that from last year? We cut up a bunch of shapes. We get really creative. Think of how we can make these shapes into a beautiful picture. So let's begin. <laughs> Can you hold this down for me? Can you hold this down? What are you making? I'm making a shark. Mm, nice. So here's the final product. It's an underwater marine picture. We have a shark, an octopus, and a fish. This art takes a little bit of preparation because you have to have an adult cut out some shapes for you. And I did um, kind of like a big and a small of triangles, rectangles, squares, and circles. So a little bit of preparation. And then you need to put on your thinking caps and be creative because you need to come up with a picture. Think, how can I make these shapes? How can I use them to make a beautiful picture? And then glue them on. Send me a picture. I can't wait to see them. Have fun, everybody. And P.S. Here's one more thing that you can do with the shapes. You can take a piece of paper and put your shape underneath. So I'm just going to take this one here. And if you put a bunch of shapes underneath, like this. I'll just show you this in one sec. We are going to color. So I'm going to do that. Put this on top. Choose some nice crayons. I'm going to choose, I don't know, red. I think it looks really nice and purple. And you color on top. And you can press a little bit hard. will help. And you can see the shape underneath. This is a good example of texture. Remember, texture is uh, the different way that things can feel rough, smooth, bumpy. So we can feel the edge, kind of a bumpy edge. See how that's turning out? And here's another one. So just something different to do to see that. You can make a really nice collage. Do you remember the word collage means collection? So you can make a collection of shapes here on your paper. If you want to do something really interesting, and this is kind of a challenge though, so this is tricky. Don't worry if you don't do it, just if you want to try. Put the paper on top, put the shape on top. And then you color on top of this, um, kind of like, kind of like that. I colored on top of the triangle and onto the paper, covering all of the edges. And when you take it up, you can see the shape is left underneath. This is a good example of space in art. Space is uh, just the space that's taken up on the paper. We have the positive space and the negative space. And we can see the space that the triangle takes up in the color. And you could do different shapes. You can do this one. Ta-da! There you go. You have three different ideas for shapes. Uh, the shape art, the texture shape rubbing right here and making shape space. Remember, for this one, I put the shape underneath. There it is. For this one, I put the shape on top. If you are feeling like you would really like to, try all three different ways. Send me a picture of each or choose your favorite one if it's feeling like a lot. Great. Uh, have fun and we will... Uh, see you next week. Bye.